What's up, everybody? Doc Dog went on a five. There's levels to this. Okay, this is uh, day 12 for me with the Asus ROG Ally. I have till day 14 to return it, and as of right now, I don't see why I would return it. This video, I'm going to be a, li a little bit more aggressive in how I talk about all the criticism that this console, this computer, this handheld, this portable device, whatever you want to characterize it as, has been getting. I don't know why, maybe it's just the way my YouTube feed is set up, but I've been seeing a lot of um, negative content towards it, even though at the beginning, I saw a lot of positive content towards it. Now, I'll start off by saying, if you've been watching my, my series of this, the device is definitely not perfect, but no device is really. This device, however, is amazing. Let's talk about the first complaint that you hear about this device that is a valid complaint at face value, but let's dig deeper. Every single person that I have seen review this complains about the battery life to include me. To include me, the battery life of this thing is atrocious, especially if you plan on playing AAA games, okay? At face value, an hour of playtime sounds horrible. When something like the Nintendo Switch can get anywhere between four to nine hours, depending on the game, right? So let's go at the low end of the switch. Four hours is still more than what this could get. You're looking at about an hour, an hour and 30 minutes to maybe, maybe three hours to four hours if you're playing something real, real easy. Maybe that. But again, the battery life, no one's going to dispute. is horrible. How big of an issue is it though, really? This is the charger for this thing. 65 watt charger, okay? Pretty, pretty lengthy cord. Almost as if they knew, hey, you might have to plug this in. And the cord might have to be long enough to reach. This is what I'm going to challenge you with. Name me the last time you sat somewhere and gamed for over over an hour and you didn't have an outlet i can only think of one place that's an airplane that's the only place that i could think of where i would game for over an hour and not have an outlet nearby everywhere else if I'm gaming, again, for over an hour, I'm sure I could position myself where I'm close near an outlet that I could plug it in. Now, hey, Doc, but then you got to carry that outlet with you. Hmm. Let's talk about that. Unless you are a child, I, I, I have, I have, I've never seen this. I have never seen this. But you tell me if, if, if you do this. The only people I see walking around literally with a Nintendo Switch in their hands on, in a case like this and just a Nintendo Switch are children. Every grown adult that I know that carries a Nintendo Switch with them somewhere usually carries it in, wait for it, a backpack. Something like this. You carry this in there and you zip it up guess what else you carry in here you also carry a charger not just for your switch but if you're a smart person and you have an android instead of an iphone you only need a type c charger that was a joke you iphone users you guys are okay with me sometimes but in your bag, you might have your little case, 
right? To carry your little Switch games and stuff, right? You might have little controller adapters for your phone, maybe. You might have your mouse for your tablet, right, for your Surface Pro 7. You might have your, what else I got in here? This is like the never end this, the never ending book bag, right? You might have your Bible as well, right? So you carry all this stuff with you, okay? And there's no, oh, Bible don't want to go in. want to stay out. Okay, we'll leave you out. I have to read you after this. You have no, no real reason as to why you can't carry this with you. And whenever you're going to play, again, if you're gaming for more than an hour, gaming for more than an hour, there's no reason why you can't sit next to somewhere, plug it in, and play that way. That takes care of that. The second complaint I hear, it is not a console-like experience, meaning that right out of the box, you could go ahead and just play it. It's almost as if we forgot what it's like to set up a new console. You don't just turn on these new consoles, whether it's an Xbox Series X, Xbox uh, 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 PS5, or, or even the Nintendo Switch and just turn it on and start playing. To do a full setup, you go through all the steps. You got to connect your Wi-Fi. Some of us got to find our, our routers, find a freaking, the freaking the, the, the Wi-Fi password. And these consoles have updates. The controllers have to update. Like the, We're acting as if we forgot what it was like to set up a PS5 and a Series X. So yes, this takes time to set up. You're not just going to grab it right out of the box and start playing. But that's the same thing with your phone. That's the same thing with every, virtually every single electronic that you buy nowadays. There is some setups. There are some updates. It is what it is. It is a Windows PC. Now, another critique that I hear about this console. The bugs and issues with the software. I cannot speak for everyone else on that. The only issues that I have had, which I've documented on this channel, was when my speakers went out. And for whatever reason, I had to update the drivers. I have no idea why that happened. But I do know that this is a Windows PC. And even on my gaming laptop, this has happened before. Worst things have happened before on my gaming laptop. So I get it. I got it. The sticks being loose, this is a critique that I had of it. I got used to them. I could play with them perfectly fine. The comfort level, I got used to it. I play perfectly fine. The back buttons, which I can't stand the positioning of them. I got used to them. Play perfectly fine. Overall, my experience with this thing has been extremely, extremely positive. And I game more now on this thing than I do on anything else. There's not a, a situation where I have ran into where I've wanted to return this. So battery life, yes, it's bad. But come on, guys, let's be realistic. You can carry a charger with you. You're probably going to carry, if you're going to carry this with you, you're going to carry a, a charger with you. You're probably going to put it in a bag. Again, let's be realistic. If you're gaming somewhere for more than an hour that doesn't have an outlet, unless you're on a plane, right? Which is then okay, I get it. The Switch is going to be the, the best situation for that. Then you got a point. The setup of this, everything takes setup time. Once it's up and running, once you have it set up, you're good. Updates, all these consoles have updates to include the Nintendo Switch. This having multiple updates is a good thing. It's not a bad thing. You want them to keep updating this thing. So 
I say all that to make sure that if there's somebody out there that's thinking about getting this device, I, I want you to know, as long as you don't have a faulty device, because it seems like there's a few faulty devices out there. Mine, thank God, has not been faulty at all. It's, it's worked perfectly fine. I want you to know that gaming on this has been a blast, has been amazing. I never thought that true AAA games could be played in this mode and that it would be fully enjoyable. The only thing that came close to that or that would, had given me that feeling was when I used to play on Stadia. And unfortunately, Stadia is gone. But I played um, the first Watch Dogs on Stadia. And I remember one time sitting in, my, in, in, the, in the laundromat playing Watch Dogs as I was doing laundry. On my phone with a Razer Kishi controller at the time. And it played flawlessly and, and amazing. This would work even better in that situation. Because I wouldn't be relying on the internet at all. Not only that, not only that, but when I was sitting there in the laundromat playing Stadia, I was sitting in one of those laundromat booths, and guess what was in the bottom corner? A charger. A wall charger. So I still could have brought this, plugged it in, and played. I don't know how else I could say this. If you really want a handheld just for the portability without needing to worry about a charger at all, maybe it's just best that you just play your mobile games. But you know that doesn't make sense because most of you carry a charger for your phone anyways as well. Maybe I'm tripping. Go ahead, leave your comments and let me know. Doc, Doc, when I need five, there's levels to this. We out. Peace.